Alright, so in the pre previous tutorial, we talked about integers, and we kind of looked at floating point numbers. And floating point numbers are going to be our main focus in today's tutorial. Now, you know I mentioned that floating point numbers are numbers that have a decimal point, right? So, 5.0 is a floating point number. Uh, 45.02 is a floating point number. Negative 4.2 is a floating point number. Anytime it has a decimal point is a floating point number. Now what is a floating point number? It's actually a fraction. And what they do is um, it's created as a fraction and it's also <coughs> goes down to the underlying C language which Python built on top of as a binary fraction. So it's actually two different fractions when it's work when it's actually calculated. Alright. So <coughs> just hold that thought for a second. Let's go ahead and use um, what we did before and use the type builder function just to test out some um, floating point numbers, just to check to make sure they're floating point numbers. So we got type 5.0 is a float. Let's do um, type 5 is an integer. Type negative 5.0. Floating point numbers. All right. Pretty simple, right? Um, so we know what the type does, and we know which ones are flo uh, floating point numbers. Anything that has a decimal is a floating point number. Now, let's look at how we convert uh, an integer or a string to a floating point number. Let's go ahead and use the float building function. So float, parentheses, um, then we'll do 5, and we'll convert 5 to floating point number. So 5, 5.0. There we go. We have a floating point number. Or we could do... Uh, convert a string we can do float and then we'll have a string in here of 44 and we get 44.0 so basically all it's doing is adding a point zero on the end when you use float now float can't convert um, complex numbers like 1j we get back uh, can't convert complex numbers okay that's understandable um, now I know in the previous tutorials that I've taught, this has always come up. A student will do something like this, 7.6 plus 8.7 equals 16.299999999997. Well, we all know that it should be 16.3. All right, so remember when I said that um, floating point numbers in Python are fractions. And they're also convert to binary fractions down on the C language where the calculations are actually ran. So what happens is fractions are not as accurate as real floating point numbers. So say this is a fraction and this is a fraction, all right? And we're adding them together and then they go all the way down um, behind the scenes down on top of the C language which a lot of computers are built on and convert it again. And then it's sent all the way back up here and back to us and somewhere in there it is lost uh, three points if you will. All right, It's lost it somewhere. Now that can be an issue when say you're building a financial piece of software where there's a couple cents after time will start to add up. Um, if you are going to build financial software that, and you're just going to use this method, uh, please send that one cent that you keep losing to me. That would be awesome. Um, but there is two methods to get around that, and we're going to talk about that when we start talking more in depth about floating point numbers. We can use uh, different packages in Python. They'll allow us to make floating point numbers a lot more accurate, all right? pretty much accurate. Um, and Python, I want to mention, Python's not the only language that has this is issue. It's a lot of programming languages out there because the fact that they're converted to fractions, um, you lose those points. So there's there's packages, like I said, that are out there for us to work with. For example, the decimal package would, that will help us fix this issue. I could also do something like this, um, the round building function to fix this issue and I get 16 um, but I could also do let's do round again 7.6 
I want it to be more accurate. Seven one. And now I got sixteen point three. See that it rounds it, but round might not be the most accurate. And there's something called the decimal module um, that we could work with. Uh, also, here's another example of this issue. If we do one point one plus one point one plus one point one equal to uh, equal equal three point three, right? Yeah. Um, this should equal 3.3, right? We get false. It doesn't equal that. So what does it actually equal? 1.1 plus 1.1 plus 1.1 equals 3.3. And then all the way back here, you got those uh, extra threes. So it's inaccurate to a point, all right? So just remember floating point numbers that sometimes they're not going to be accurate, all right? Um, there is ways around it, like I showed you up here, the round build and function. I forgot to mention this one over here. It says return the number at uh, one number after the decimal. So if I put two, it'd be 16.30. So let's just show that example. 7.6 plus 8.7. Then the comma and how many numbers do I want after the decimal point. Um, since it's 16.3, it already rounded up. It's only going to return 16.3 um, so just remember that floating point numbers sometimes aren't accurate uh, most of the time they will be accurate and if you have any questions please let us know uh, when we get to floating point numbers I'll be showing you the methods to make these a lot more accurate see you then